Discworld is a comic fantasy book series written by the English author Terry Pratchett 1948-2015, set on the Discworld, a flat planet balanced on the backs of four elephants which in turn stand on the back of a giant turtle. The books frequently parody or take inspiration from J. R. R. Tolkien, Robert E. Howard, H. P. Lovecraft, Charles Dickens and William Shakespeare, as well as mythology, folklore and fairy tales, often using them for satirical parallels with cultural, political and scientific issues. Forty-one Discworld novels have been published. The original British editions of the first 26 novels, up to Thief of Time 2001, had cover art by Josh Kirby. The American editions, published by HarperCollins, used their own cover art. Since Kirby's death in 2001, the covers have been designed by Paul Kidby. Companion publications include 11 short stories some only loosely related to the Discworld, four popular science books, and a number of supplementary books and reference guides. The series has been adapted for graphic novels, theater, computer and board games, and television. Newly released Discworld books regularly top the Sunday Times bestsellers list, making Pratchett the UK's best-selling author in the 1990s. Discworld novels have also won awards such as the Prometheus Award and the Carnegie Medal. In the BBC's Big Read, four Discworld novels were in the top 100, and a total of 14 in the top 200. More than 80 million Discworld books have been sold in 37 languages. Topic: Composition. Very few of the Discworld novels have chapter divisions. Instead, they feature interweaving storylines. Pratchett was quoted as saying that he just never got into the habit of chapters. Later adding that, I have to shove them in the putative YA books because my editor screams until I do. However, the first Discworld novel The Color of Magic was divided into books, as is Pyramids. Additionally, Going Postal and Making Money both have chapters, a prologue, an epilogue, and brief teasers of what is to come in each chapter, in the style of A. A. Milne, Jules Verne, and Jerome K. Jerome. Topic. Themes and motifs The Discworld novels contain common themes and motifs that run through the series. Fantasy clichés are parodied in many of the novels, as are various sub-genres of fantasy, such as fairy tales notably witches abroad, witch and vampire stories carpe jugulum, and so on. Analogies of real-world issues, such as religion small gods, fundamentalism and inner-city tension thud, business and politics making money, racial prejudice and exploitation snuff are recurring themes, as are aspects of culture and entertainment, such as opera masquerade, rock music, soul music cinema moving pictures, and football unseen academicals. Parodies of non-Discworld fiction also occur frequently, including Shakespeare, Beatrix Potter, and several movies. Major historical events, especially battles, are sometimes used as the basis for both trivial and key events in Discworld stories Jingo, pyramids, as are trends in science, technology, pop culture and modern art moving pictures, men-at-arms, thud. There are also humanist themes in many of the Discworld novels, and a focus on critical thinking skills in the Witches and Tiffany Aching series. <laughs> Storylines The Discworld novels and stories are, in principle, standalone works. However, a number of novels and stories form novel sequences with distinct story arcs. Topic: <inaudible> Rincewind. 
Rincewind was the first protagonist of Discworld, a wizard with no skill, no wizardly qualifications, and no interest in heroics. He is the archetypal coward but is constantly thrust into extremely dangerous adventures. In The Last Hero, he flatly states that he does not wish to join an expedition to explore over the edge of the disc but, being fully geared for the expedition at the time, clarifies by saying that any amount of protesting on his part is futile, as something will eventually occur that will bring him into the expedition anyway. As such, he not only constantly succeeds in staying alive, but also saves Discworld on several occasions, and has an instrumental role in the emergence of life on Roundworld, science of Discworld. Other characters in the Rincewind story arc include, Cohen the Barbarian, an aging hero of the old fantasy tradition, out of touch with the modern world and still fighting despite his advanced age, Toothflower, a naive tourist from the Agatian Empire, inspired by cultures of the Far East, particularly Japan and China, and the Luggage, a magical, semi-sentient and exceptionally vicious multi-legged traveling accessory, made from sapient pearwood. Rincewind appeared in eight Discworld novels as well as the four Science of Discworld supplementary books. <laughs> Death Death appears in every novel except The We Free Men and Snuff, although sometimes with only a few lines. As dictated by tradition, he is a seven-foot-tall skeleton in a black robe who sits astride a pale horse, called Binky. His dialogue is always depicted in small caps, and without quotation marks, as several characters state that Death's voice seems to arrive in their heads without actually passing through their ears as sound. As the anthropomorphic personification of death, death has the job of guiding souls onward from this world into the next. Over millennia in the role, he has developed a fascination with humanity, even going so far as to create a house for himself in his personal dimension. Characters that often appear with death include his butler Albert, his granddaughter Susan Stoheller, the death of rats, the part of death in charge of gathering the souls of rodents, quotes, a talking raven, a parody of Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven, although it flat out refuses to say, nevermore, and the auditors of reality, personifications of the orderly physical laws and the closest thing death has to a nemesis. Death or Susan appear as the main characters in five Discworld novels. He also appears in the short stories Death and What Comes Next, Theatre of Cruelty and Turntables of the Night. Death also appears in the non-Discworld novel Good Omens, written by Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. In soul music, when asked about things he enjoys he answers, cats and curries. Topic. Witches Witches in Pratchett's universe are largely stripped of their modern occultist associations though Pratchett does frequently use his stories to lampoon such conceptions of witchcraft, and act as herbalists, adjudicators and wise women. That is not to say that witches on the disc cannot use magic, they simply prefer not to, finding simple but cunningly applied psychology often referred to as headology, or sometimes boffo, far more effective. The principal witch in the series is Granny Weatherwax, who at first glance seems to be a taciturn, bitter old crone, from the small mountain country of Lankra. She largely despises people but takes on the role of their healer and protector because no one else can do the job as well as she can. Her closest friend is Nanny Og, a jolly, personable witch with the common touch, who enjoys a smoke and a pint of beer, often leading to her singing bawdy folk songs including the notorious Hedgehog Song. The two take on apprentice witches, initially Magrat Garlic, then Agnes Knit, and then Tiffany Aiken, who in turn go on to become accomplished witches in their own right, and, in Magrat's case, Queen of Lankra. 
Other characters in the Witches series include, King Virence II of Lankra, a one-time fool, Jason Og, Nanny Og's eldest son and local blacksmith, Sean Og, Nanny's youngest son who serves as his country's entire army and civil service, and Nanny's murderous cat Grebo. The Witches have appeared in numerous Discworld books, but have featured as protagonists in Seven. They have also appeared in the short story. The Sea and Little Fishes. Their stories frequently draw on ancient European folklore and fairy tales, as well as parody famous works of literature, particularly by Shakespeare. Topic: <laughs> City Watch. The stories featuring the Angmorpork City Watch are urban fantasy, and frequently show the clashes that result when a traditional, magically run fantasy world such as the Disc comes into contact with modern technology and civilization. They revolve around the growth of the Angmorpork City Watch from a hopeless gang of three to a fully equipped and efficient police force. The stories are largely police procedurals, featuring crimes that have heavy political or societal overtones. The main character is Sam Vimes, a haggard, cynical, working-class street copper who, when introduced in Guards. Guards, is the drunken, alcoholic captain of the two-person night watch, lazy, cowardly, and none too bright Sergeant Fred Collin, and Corporal Nobby Nobbs, a petty thief in his own right. Then Carrot Iron Founderson, a 6 foot 6 inch tall meters dwarf by adoption, comes down from the mountains to join the watch and do real policing. The night watch manages to save the city from a dragon. We learn that Carrot is possibly the rightful heir to the throne of Ankh-Morpork, and the patrician decides to allow Vimes to create a real police force. Other main characters include Angua, a werewolf, Detritus, a troll, Red Shoe, a zombie and dead rights campaigner, Cuddy, a dwarf who appears in Men at Arms, Golem Constable Dorfl, Cheery Littlebottom, the Watcher's forensics expert, who is one of the first dwarves to be openly female, and who tried to rename herself, Sherry. But without success, Sam's wife, Lady Sybil Vimes nay Ramkin, Constable visit the infidel with explanatory pamphlets, Inspector A. E. Pessimal, recruited by Vimes as his adjutant when sent as an auditor by Havelock Veterinary, the patrician of ankh -Morpork. The City Watch have starred in eight Discworld stories, and have cameoed in a number of others, including Making Money, the children's book Where's My Cow, and the short story. Theatre of Cruelty. Pratchett stated on numerous occasions that the presence of the City Watch makes Ankh Morpork's stories problematic, as stories set in the city that do not directly involve Vimes and the Watch often require a Watch presence to maintain the story at which point, it becomes a Watch story by default. Topic Wizards The Wizards of the Unseen University UU, have represented a strong thread through many of the Discworld novels, although the only books that they star in exclusively are the Science of the Discworld series and the novels Unseen Academicals and The Last Continent. In the early books, the faculty of UU changed frequently, as rising to the top usually involved assassination. However, with the ascension of the bombastic Mustram Ridcully to the position of Arch-Chancellor, the hierarchy has settled and characters have been given the chance to develop. The earlier books featuring the wizards also frequently dealt with the possible invasion of the Discworld by the creatures from the dungeon dimensions, Lovecraftian monsters that hunger for the magic and potential of the Discworld. The Wizards of UU employ the traditional whiz bank type of magic seen in Dungeons and Dragons games, but also investigate the rules and structure of magic in terms highly reminiscent of particle physics. Prominent members include Ponda Stibbons, a geeky young wizard, Hex, the disc's first computer, semi-sentient thinking engine, the librarian, who was turned into an orangutan by magical accident, the dean, the bursar, the chair of indefinite studies, the lecturer in recent runes, and the senior wrangler. 
In later novels, Rincewind also joins their group, while the dean leaves to become the Arch-Chancellor of Brazenek College in the nearby city of Pseudopolis. The Wizards have featured prominently in nine Discworld books as well as starred in the Science of Discworld series and the short story, A Collegiate Casting Out of Devilish Devices. Tiffany Aching Tiffany Aking is a young apprentice witch and protagonist of a series of Discworld books aimed at young adults. Her stories often parallel mythic heroes' quests, but also deal with Tiffany's difficulties as a young girl maturing into a responsible woman. She is aided in her task by the NAC Mac Fiegel, a gang of blue tattooed, six inch tall, hard drinking, loud mouthed picked sea creatures also called the We Free Men, who serve as her guardians. Both Granny Weatherwax and Nanny Og have also appeared in her stories. She has appeared in five novels The We Free Men, A Hat Full of Sky, Winter Smith, I Shall Wear Midnight, and The Shepherd's Crown. Major characters in this series include Miss Tick, who discovered Tiffany, Anagramar Hawken, Petulia Grissel, and NAC Mac Fiegel Chieftain Rob Anybody. <laughs> Moist von Lipwig Moist von Lipwig is a professional criminal and con man to whom Havelock Veterinari gives a second chance after staging his execution, recognizing the advantages his jack of all trades abilities would have to the development of the city. After setting him in charge of the Ankh Morpork Post Office in Going Postal, to good result, Veterinari ordered him to clear up the city's corrupt financial sector in making money. In a third book, Raising Steam, published on 7 November 2013, Veterinari persuades Lipwig to oversee the development of a rail network for Dick Simnel's newly invented steam locomotive. Other characters in this series include Adora Bell Dearheart, Lipwig's acerbic, chain-smoking love interest, Gladys, a golem who develops a strange crush on Lipwig, Stanley Howler, an obsessive young man who was raised by Pease and becomes the disc's first stamp collector, and the very old junior postman Groat, who never got promoted to senior postman because there was never a postmaster alive long enough to do so. Topic. Discworld cultures Several other books can be grouped together as other cultures of Discworld books. They may contain characters or locations from other arcs, typically not as protagonist or antagonist but as a supporting character or even a throwaway reference. These include pyramids, Jellababy, small gods, Omnia, and monstrous regiment, Zelobinia and Borogravia. Topic: <laughs> Characters. Short descriptions of many of the notable characters. Topic: <laughs> Bibliography. <laughs> <laughs> Topic Novels Topic Short Stories There are also a number of short stories by Pratchett based in the Discworld, including published miscellanea such as the fictional game Origins of Thud. All are available in the anthology A Blink of the Screen 2012, as well as in the following locations. Troll Bridge in After the King, stories in honor of J. R. R. Tolkien 1992, reprinted in the Mammoth Book of Comic Fantasy edited by Mike Ashley 1998, available online. Theater of Cruelty 1993, available online. The Sea and Little Fishes", 
In Legends 1998, anthology of novellas taking place within popular fantasy cycles edited by Robert Silverberg. Death and What Comes Next", 2002, available online. A Collegiate Casting Out of Devilish Devices", 2005, first published in the May 13, 2005 issue of the Times Higher Education Supplement, included in certain editions of Snuff, available online Seven of the short stories or short writings were also collected in a compilation of the majority of Pratchett's known short work named Once More Asterisk with Footnotes 2004. Additionally, another short story, "'Turntables of the Night' 1989, is set in England but features death as a character, it is available online and in both anthologies. <laughs> <laughs> Maps Although Terry Pratchett said, "'There are no maps' You can't map a sense of humor. There are six maps: The Streets of Ankh-Morpork, 1993; The Discworld Map, 1995; A Tourist Guide to Lankra, 1998; and Death's Domain, 1999. The first two were drawn by Stephen Player, based on plans by Pratchett and Stephen Briggs, the third is a collaboration between Briggs and Kidby, and the last is by Paul Kidby. All also contain booklets written by Pratchett and Briggs. Terry later collaborated with the Discworld Emporium to produce two much larger works, each with the associated map with the book in a folder, the complete ankh morpork City Guide 2012 and the complete Discworld Atlas 2015. Topic: <laughs> Science Books. Pratchett also collaborated with Ian Stewart and Jack Cohen on four books, using the Discworld to illuminate popular science topics. Each book alternates chapters of a Discworld story and notes on real science related to it. The books are The Science of Discworld 1999, The Science of Discworld 2, The Globe 2002, the Science of Discworld 3, Darwin's Watch, 2005. The Science of Discworld IV, Judgment Day, 2013. Topic: <laughs> Quiz Books. David Langford has compiled two Discworld quiz books. The Unseen University Challenge 1996, parodying the TV quiz show University Challenge The Widest Link 2002, parodying the TV quiz show The Weakest Link <laughs> <laughs> Diaries Most years see the release of a Discworld diary and Discworld calendar, both usually following a particular theme. The diaries feature background information about their themes. Some topics are later used in the series. The character of Miss Alice Band first appeared in the Assassin's Guild yearbook, for example, the Discworld Almanac. The Year of the Prawn has a similar format and general contents to the diaries. Other books Other Discworld publications include The Josh Kirby Discworld Portfolio 1993, a collection of Josh Kirby's artwork, published by Paper Tiger. The Discworld Companion 1994, an encyclopedia of Discworld information, compiled by Pratchett and Briggs. An updated version was released in 2003, titled The New Discworld Companion. A further updated version was released in 2012, titled Turtle Recall, The Discworld Companion. So far. The Discworld Portfolio 1996, a collection of Paul Kidby's artwork, with notes by Pratchett. 
Nanny Ogg's Cookbook 2002, a collection of Discworld recipes, combined with etiquette, language of flowers etc., written by Pratchett with Stephen Briggs and Tina Hannan. The Art of Discworld 2004, another collection of Paul Kidby's art. The Discworld Almanac 2004, an almanac for the Discworld year, in the style of the diaries and the cookbook, written by Pratchett with Bernard Pearson. Where's My Cow? 2005, a Discworld picture book referenced in Thud, and Wintersmith, written by Pratchett with illustrations by Melvin Grant. The Unseen University Cutout Book 2006, Build Your Own Unseen University, written by Pratchett with Alan Batley and Bernard Pearson, published 1 October 2006. The Wit and Wisdom of Discworld 2007, a collection of quotations from the series. The Folklore of Discworld 2008, a collaboration with British folklorist Jacqueline Simpson, discussing the myths and folklore used in Discworld. The World of Pooh 2012, another in-universe children's book similar to Where's My Cow, referenced in Snuff. The Complete Ankh-Morpork, City Guide 2012, The Complete Guide to the City of Ankh-Morpork. Mrs. Bradshaw's Handbook 2014. The Discworld Atlas 2015. Topic: Reading Order. The books take place roughly in real time and the characters' ages change to reflect the passing of years. The meetings of various characters from different narrative threads e.g., Ridcully and Granny Weatherwax in Lords and Ladies, Rincewind and Carrot in The Last Hero indicate that all the main storylines take place around the same period end of the century of the fruit bat, beginning of the century of the anchovy. The main exception is the standalone book Small Gods, which appears to take place at some point earlier than most of the other stories, though even this contains cameo appearances by Death in the Librarian. Some main characters may make cameo appearances in other books where they are not the primary focus, for example, City Watch members Carrot Iron Founderson and Angua appear briefly in Going Postal, Making Money, and Unseen Academicals, placing those books after guards. Guards, and Men at Arms. A number of characters, such as members of staff of Unseen University and Lord Veterinary, appear prominently in many different storylines without having specific storylines of their own. Topic. Continuation After Terry Pratchett was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, he said that he would be happy for his daughter Rihanna to continue the series. Rihanna Pratchett said that she would only be involved in spin-offs, adaptations and tie-ins, and that there would be no more novels. <laughs> adaptations Topic Audio Books Most of Pratchett's novels have been released as audio cassette and CD audiobooks. Unabridged recordings of books 1 to 23 in the above list, except for books 3, 6, and 9, are read by Nigel Planer. Books 3 and 6 are read by Celia Imrie. Book 9 and most of the books from 24 onward are read by Stephen Briggs. Abridged versions are read by Tony Robinson. Fantastic Audio also recorded two Discworld novels, Thief of Time and Night Watch. Comics <laughs> 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 The Color of Magic, The Light Fantastic, More, Guards. Guards, and Small Gods have been adapted into graphic novels. Film and television 
Due in part to the complexity of the novels, Discworld has been difficult to adapt to film. Pratchett was fond of an anecdote of a producer attempting to pitch an adaptation of Mort in the early 1990s but was told to lose the death angle by U.S. backers. The adaptations include Cosgrove Hall produced six by 30 minute animated adaptations of two books for Channel 4 in 1996. These were made available on DVD and VHS in the US from Acorn Media, though they are now out of print. Both series are available on a DVD box set in Region 2. Welcome to the Discworld, an eight-minute animated television adaptation of a fragment of Reaper Man. Soul Music, starring Christopher Lee as Death, also featuring Neil Morrissey and Graham Croden. First episode broadcast on 18 May 1997. The soundtrack to Soul Music was also released on CD. Wide Sisters, starring Christopher Lee as Death, also featuring Annette Crosby, June Whitfield, Jane Horrocks and Les Dennis. First episode broadcast on 28 December 1998. Mort 2001, a fan movie adaptation of the eponymous novel by Orange Cow Production, 26 minutes. Lords and Ladies 2005, a fan movie adaptation of Lords and Ladies by Almost No Budget Films was completed in Germany. Terry Pratchett's Hogfather 2006, in the UK, Sky One commissioned a £6 million made-for-television adaptation of Hogfather with David Jason playing the role of Albert. It was first broadcast in December 2006 and features Terry Pratchett in a brief cameo role as the toymaker. Run Rincewind Run 2007, a Snowgum Films original story created for Nullus Anxieters. Stars Troy Larkin as Rincewind, and features Terry Pratchett as himself. Terry Pratchett's The Color of Magic 2008, based on both The Color of Magic and The Light Fantastic, David Jason played Rincewind. This adaptation aired in the UK over Easter 2008 and also features Terry Pratchett in a brief cameo role as an astrozoologist. Terry Pratchett's Going Postal aired 8 May 2010. It stars Richard Coyle, David Suchet, Charles Dance, Claire Foy, Steve Pemberton, Andrew Sachs and Tamsin Gregg. Terry Pratchett appears in a cameo role as a postman. Planned adaptations include Troll Bridge, Australian group Snowgum Films is working on animated film as of 2016. The We Free Men, initially conceived as a film adaptation of The We Free Men directed by Sam Raimi for Sony Pictures and announced in 2006. Terry Pratchett did not like the script. On 1 November 2013, Rihanna Pratchett announced on Twitter that she was adapting The We Free Men into a feature-length film. In 2016 Narrativia confirmed the film would be co-produced with The Jim Henson Company. The Watch, a TV series based on the Ankh Morpork City Watch, The Watch was in development by Terry and then Rihanna Pratchett since 2011. It was greenlit as an eight-episode series by BBC America in October 2018, with Simon Allen as writer and Hilary Salmon, Ben Donald, Rob Wilkins and Phil Collinson as executive producers. <laughs> Radio There have been several BBC radio adaptations of Discworld stories, including Eric 1990, a four-part dramatist adaptation began airing on BBC Radio 4 on 6 March 2013. Guards. Guards, six 30 minutes episodes, first broadcast in 2008, narrated by Martin Jarvis. Mort, four 30 minutes episodes, first broadcast in 2008, starring Anton Lesser and Jeffrey Whitehead. Nightwatch 5 30 minutes episodes, first broadcast in 2008, starring Ben Onwukwe and Philip Jackson. 
Small Gods, four 30 minutes episodes, first broadcast in 2008, starring Anton Lesser. Wide Sisters, four 30 minutes episodes, first broadcast in 2008, starring Sheila Hancock, Linda Barron, and Deborah Berlin. Topic: Stage. Stephen Briggs published stage adaptations of 18 Discworld novels. Most of them were first produced by the Studio Theatre Club in Abingdon, Oxfordshire. They include adaptations of The Truth, Masquerade, Mort, Wide Sisters and Guards. Guards. Arana Brown directed her adaptation of Lords and Ladies, first performed in 1995 at the Winton Studio Theatre. Her adaptation was published in 2001 by Samuel French, and is still being performed as of 2016. A stage version of Eric, adapted by Scott Harrison and Lee Harris, was produced and performed by the Dreaming Theatre Company in July 2003 inside Clifford's Tower, the 700-year-old castle keep in York. It was revived in 2004 in a tour of England, along with Robert Rankin's The Antipope. Small Gods was adapted for the stage by Ben Saunders and was performed in February 2011 at the Assembly Rooms Theatre, Durham by Ook. Productions and members of Durham Student Theatre. Ook. Productions also adapted and staged Terry Pratchett's Night Watch, February 2012, Thief of Time, February 2013, adapted by Tim Foster, Lords and Ladies, February 2014, adapted by Irana Brown, Monstrous Regiment, 2015, and Soul Music, February 2016, adapted by Imogen Edelston. A stage version of Monstrous Regiment was produced by Lifeline Theatre in Chicago, Illinois in June, July, and August 2014 with an adaptation written by one of Lifeline's ensemble members, Chris Hainsworth. A stage musical version of Witches Abroad, adapted by Amy Orha Nichols, was performed at the 2016 International Discworld Convention. Topic. Merchandise Various other types of related merchandise have been produced by Cottage Industries with an interest in the books, including Stephen Briggs, Bernard Pearson, Bonsai Trading, Paul Kidby and Clarecraft. Topic board games The board game Thud 2002 was created by puzzle compiler Trevor Truran. Guards Guards. A Discworld board game 2011 was created by designers Leonard Boyd and David Brashaw Backspindle Games and published by Z-Man Games. The first copies went on sale on 8 July 2011. Discworld, Ankh More Pork was designed by Martin Wallace and released by Treefrog Games in three editions, each with different content and different game boards. A follow-up game called The Witches, also by Wallace, was released by Treefrog in September 2013. Clax 2015 was released by Blackspindle Games. The game artwork was created by Amber Grundy. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Card Game. The card game Cripple Mr. Onion is adapted from the novels. Topic. Miniature figures A selection of figures has been produced by Micro Art Studio. Topic. Musical releases Dave Greenslade, Terry Pratchett's From the Discworld 1994, Virgin CDV 2738.72438-39512-2-2 Keith Hopwood, Soul Music. 
Terry Pratchett's Discworld, 1998, Proper Music Distribution, Pluto Music TH030746, soundtrack to the animated adaptation of Soul Music. Steel Eye Span, Wintersmith, 2013, Park Records, a collection of folk rock songs based on the book Wintersmith and on other Tiffany Aching stories. There is a spoken contribution by Terry Pratchett. Topic: <laughs> Role-playing games. Pratchett co-authored with Phil Masters two role-playing game supplements for Discworld, utilizing the GURPS system. GURPS Discworld, republished as the Discworld role-playing game. GURPS Discworld also. Topic: Video games. The Color of Magic, Sinclair ZX Spectrum, Commodore 64. Discworld Mud, Internet. Discworld PC, DOS, Macintosh, PlayStation, Saturn. Discworld 2, Missing Presumed. Exclamation mark question mark. Discworld 2: Mortality Bites in North America. PC, Windows, PC, DOS, PlayStation, Saturn. Discworld Noir, PC, Windows, PlayStation. Discworld: The Color of Magic, mobile phone, 2006. Topic: <laughs> Twin Cities. Several Discworld locations have been twinned with real-world towns and cities. Wincanton, in Somerset, UK, for example is twinned with Ankh-Morpork, and the town is the first to name streets after their fictional equivalents. See also Discworld characters List of dimensions of the Discworld International Discworld Convention The North American Discworld Convention Craig Shaw Gardner Robert Asprin Douglas Adams Josh Kirby